Howdy everybody and welcome back to Melania's Arsenal, the series where we fight Melania in NG7 with every single weapon. Sorry, I stuttered there for a second, I felt like I said that really fast. And then I slowed down, and... Anyway, uh, we're using the Blink Bolt Long Haft Axe. Death Knight Long Haft Axe? What is it even called? Yeah, Death Knight's Long Haft Axe. Uh, this one was suggested by Gotti, they said it would be cool, and I agree. So I'm gonna do it! Uh... Before we get into this, I'd just like to say, if you like the content, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment if you want to help choose like Gotti did. Let's read the description, then we'll fight her. A long-hafted golden axe wielded by De the Death Knight bears a representation of a decayed golden ring. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, the knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Uh, I don't really know much about Godwin, but I do have to say I know that this weapon art's actually pretty good. Uh, for one, you do get iframes during it, and the damage is good, so I'm going to attempt to actually use it against her. Yeah, there's some damage on it. We're using a great axe, or it is a great axe, so you've got really good DPS against her as well. Also, it has the better charge move set, I think, at least. The, uh, Godric's Axe moveset, which is incredibly good. Uh, we just go all four because we can't get the crit if we've gone for a second attack. That's okay, though. We are using the Two-Handed Talisman, the Axe Talisman, and the Ash of War Talisman, Alexander Jarshard. Wow. Alright, so I didn't even need that roll, the one that I used. Now she'll probably waterfowl me? No. Nope. Nice. There it is. We have used up a lot of our FP, though. Thank you for not swapping to two-handing, by the way, game. Wonderful. Yeah, I've been having that issue a lot. I really wish... Actually, I haven't even checked, but I don't think you can change the input to being uh, just triangle to swap to two-handing. Like it was in previous uh, Souls titles. And I need to check if that if I can, because that's one of the reasons I get hit so often. That's one of the things that causes me to hit, get hit more than I should, at least. I'm bad at the at pressing buttons, it turns out. She's way too far away. Yeah, we couldn't really push there, unfortunately. We'll just roll past her here. We've taken a good number of hits here, but even still, uh, it's a pretty good weapon so far. I'd like to show off the Charge Star 2 a little bit more, because Great Axes do have a bonus to their Charge Star 2s. Uh, and as you can see, the damage itself is actually pretty good there. The, uh, the thing I'd like to talk about is the weapon art is pretty good from what I understand. But I don't think it's good against Melania. How about that? Well, that sucks. That's okay. It's not as good against Melania as other things. Well, I don't know when the iframes are either, unfortunately. Yeah. Wow. So much for trying to use the iframes. I think it has iframes. You know what? Don't quote me on that. I could just be wrong. I was sure it did from how it felt from using it prior to this. But like, now that I'm using it here, I'm like, I don't really know if it does have iframes. I should have read the uh, Ash of War description. She could do whatever she wants from that positioning. That sucks. You never want to give her that option. Ooh. You know, somebody the other day asked me how much poise I would recommend for this fight. Uh, I don't really have a, a perfect answer to that, but I think somewhere like 40 to 50 plus is where it really starts helping. Because that gives you like one extra hit against some of her combos and stuff when she's starting them. Which gives you access to a little bit more leeway against stuff like that. I'm assuming no clones. Okay, perfect.
Yeah, you weren't supposed to do an, a charged R2 or an uncharged R2. You were just supposed to hit R1 there. And it would have worked better. But that's okay. We're going to do a charged R2 here, though, on Wake Up. As you can see, the actual posture damage on this thing has been massive. We've gotten, I think, more stance breaks than any weapon in a long time. Uh, one thing that I'll be wanting to work on soon, by the way, I'm going to be posting a tier list video, I think, or I'd like to make one at least. I'm going to be covering like what weapons are good against Melania, what weapon categories are good against Melania. And I'm going to let you know, I think Great Axe is pretty high on that list, honestly. Even though I took more damage than I have against her typically in a while. Part of that just comes from me being... Uh, I don't know, I guess a little rusty with this weapon class. I haven't used it since before the DLC. They only introduced two of them in the DLC, it looks like. It's a pretty good weapon. Let me read the weapon art description real quick. From a low stance, body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at a fulgurous speed. Huh. My match. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research. Uh, if you want something weak to lightning, you fight Relina. I don't know why they made her the weakest, but that's okay. Main is identical to Blink Bolt. Ash of Warm provides an unknown amount of iframes. So it does provide iframes, at least. But, everybody's favorite wiki. Facts for Life does not know how many iframes it provides. That's okay. We'll just wing it. I'm using the two-handed talisman the axe talisman. I think those are probably your best bets for great axes. And I, again, you saw I was using the Alexander Jar Shard, but... But... Oh! I hope you guys know this is one of my worst fights of the DLC. I don't know how she does it. She is so good at hitting me, though. I think if you're not locked on, you can circle strafe that. I want to say not locking on in general kind of helps this fight. I am just eating damage, by the way. Like, if this was a buffet, I'm getting my money's worth. That was a weird way to word it, but you know what I mean. I'm just, like, tanking every hit, pretty much. I just still don't know how to handle this fight. I don't know how long you have on that stance break. I don't think I've ever stance broker before in NG7. Oh, sure. Cool. Please do your transformation. Yep. We'll do three hits, wait for her to stance up, and then... Yeah. That's what you want. Oh, I didn't get hit. I thought for sure I was going to, because... <laughs> her health is at such a weird number that she's doing, like, all of her big hits back-to-back. -back. Okay, I get it. Mm, close. Ah, that is one of my least favorite things is enemies with projectiles that are separate from their AI. Alright. Oh, I'm dead. I panic rolled. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Needless to say, I think I could handle her. I'll give her one more attempt, actually, because that was a kind of a lackluster way to go down, huh? <laughs> So instead, we'll just beat her up. We'll win. If you're having trouble with phase two, I was barely using the Axe Talisman, so what I would probably say is just put on, like, Pearl Drake plus three, or, like, Spell Drake plus three if you're first time through, because I don't remember where we get Pearl Drake. But... I don't know. I have a few tier lists in mind, by the... Oh, they did add a chair to this room. Huh. 
Somebody had just pointed that out to me. I hadn't noticed until, well, just now, actually. I'm circling the wrong direction. Whoops. One thing that's nice is one of the reasons why she's so weak to lightning is just because of the, uh, the arena she's in, right? It's just got water here. Wow. She could have just chosen to kill me if she hadn't whiffed. I think one of the reasons why I don't like this fight is because you have to wait for her to act instead of you acting against her. Right? And I guess that's most fights in the series anyway. Whoops. Oh, I'm taking huge damage for that one. Where Melania is one of the only examples of that not being the case. Yeah, I always mistime that first one because it's actually slower than it looks. At least in my opinion it is. Nothing wrong with blocking with your own weapon. All right. Ugh, I gotta say, this fight is quite literally dizzying when you lock on. Maybe that's one of the reasons I don't like it. I get dizzy easily. <laughs> I mean, like, this is the point where we do fine and then she wakes up. Maybe she won't, uh... Yeah, here we go. We'll just drink in her face. Not be afraid. I mean, like, that fire did, like, no damage anyway. So did that magic. <laughs> there we go. I think part of my issue is I'm trying to roll with without taking into uh, taking into mind where she's moving when I'm locked on at least which makes me makes my rolling play it makes that sort of thing difficult to roll right all right oh, she, she does more there huh. I mean I think we just win here right oh just hit her dude <laughs> I mean, I'm winning at this fight more at least, huh? So there is that. As bad at the fight as I might be. Uh, what time? 12 minutes in? We've got plenty of time. I've kind of, I'm kind of shying away from the gauntlet for a little bit because I kind of hate Gideon. <laughs> and I hate Elden Beast. Not like completely hate them as fights. I'm just tired of fighting them specifically. I mean, like, I would love to do Godfrey. And I guess I could set up the save file for that. It's kind of nice to know how this, how these weapons do against an NPC fight, but also Gideon's like the worst NPC fight in the game because all he does is spam magic, so. He's not really like most of the other NPC fights, honestly. This fight is relatively safe. We'll see if that holds up this time. And I actually, like, don't get demolished by it. Right, I forgot he does that. Uh, for when it comes to Physic, I would typically use the uh, Defense tier because that's just a given on any build of mine. Honestly, I play tanky and then I would use the stance break tier with this thing because it's a great axe. They have really good stance pressure. Just watch for where the lightning bolts land and you're fine. Yeah. And you'd be able to get I'm pretty sure you get a stance break and just a handful of hits. Oh, this is awkward. Yep. Oh, that hits all the way around him, huh? It's funny because it feels like I'm just flailing around in this fight, but like... I've only healed three times now. Mm, least favorite. Oh! Uh, I guess his health has dropped far enough that he's not going to ice phase. You know, he actually, this guy has an ult. I don't know how often you, you guys have seen it, but he does a mix of all three attacks. Like all three of his forms attacks. 
if you didn't know. Oh, uh, why did I think he was phase transitioning there? <laughs> As you can see, the issue with this guy is he just does, like, no damage. I say as he swaps to probably his strongest form, I would say. And I would probably call it his strongest form just because I play so defensively tanky, right? Which means my main method... Oh, yep. My main thing gets a big hit because he just does defense down when you get frostbitten. Wow. Yeah. Also, he has lingering hitboxes because of the ice. Did you see how fast I shredded my health after I got the defense down? Probably what happened was it was a mix of that on top of the uh, uh, the defense physic wearing off and the, the crab wearing off. Is my volume too loud? No, it's good. That's that fight. It's fine. And I probably could have handled it if I did it again, but I kind of want to go fight something else. So let's show off Mesmer, shall we? And sorry I'm not showing off the weapon art very well. This is, uh, it's one of the main issues with how fast or how little I show off these weapons. I don't truly have time to learn all of the ins and outs of the weapons, right? So some of the things like how the weapon art is to be properly used doesn't always work. Or it doesn't always come out well, you know? I don't know why anybody would ever think that this has good iframes, though. Like, I'm sure the iframes are good, better yet. But, uh... Over using it over a regular dodge, unless it has extremely high iframes after it started. The startup is so slow, is what I'm getting at. There we go. I mean, that worked. But, like, I could just roll that just as easily. Okay, I mean, I guess it works there. But, like, at what cost, right? I guess it's an attack and a dodge at the same time is the thing, right? I don't even care about trading that hit, honestly. Uh, Mesmer's Phase 2, as I found out in the last episode of this... Wow. Alright, so fine, I guess. Oh, I died. Uh, you want to use a Brass Shield instead of just a plus zero Heater Shield? It'll let you block a lot of his attacks a lot better. This thing is, uh... It's probably just a fine weapon. I think Mesmer is, like, decently resi Not resistant, weak to lightning, I want to say. I don't remember, but... With the kinds of openings you get... I haven't quite learned how to use a great axe against him, you know? I know you're gonna charge her two there, but that's on like any weapon. Other things to think about though are how this compares to like how this would compare to whoops. I rolled so early there. And it still hit me, dude. How this would compare to like uh I don't know, probably great swords is the closest thing. Uh, to it, right? Great swords or great hammers. You can just, like, swing on him there. I give way too much respect to that attack, honestly. Well, I don't think I had iframes for how I dodged that, but it worked. I mean, I did that. Is that cool? <laughs> I, I'm not seeing how... Oh. Yeah, I'm not seeing how this weapon art helps in a boss fight like this. Whoops. I tried to hit the weapon art button, but I hit R2 first. Ow. Chill, dude. Whoops. I don't know. It seems very niche. But there will also always be that one person who knows how to show it off perfectly, you know? Yeah, I can do that at least. <laughs> I 
Or like right here. I mean, like, that's pretty good, right? We got him to phase transition off of that. Okay, so you could do that, which is kind of cool. But I wonder how tight that is. That hit me? I'm so confused, what? I'm surprised that first hit got me, and then I kind of let the rest get me because of it. Whoops. Eh, I almost had the dodge. I'm getting better at that one, I like to I like to believe. I was way too early, or way too late on that. Just roll it. Yep. That still hit me. Sheesh. You can just block this, right? Yeah, like, I guess you don't get a punish that way, but like, it's also just safe. Ah, it was too early still, dude. I hate how delayed that, delayed that feels, I swear. Ouch. I think we're dead off that one, honestly, unfortunately. If he so much as decides to ult or anything, I'm just dead off of that. Ooh, stance break? No. Hold on. We're not dead yet. Oh! <laughs> Man, I'm bad at dodging this. Oh well, uh, how far are we into the video? Mm. Dude, I need to get like a timer or something. But I think I've done a pretty good job of showing this weapon off. Uh, it, it actually feels really good, no matter how clumsy I'm playing today. I actually rather like it a lot, but... Uh, and as you could see, it looks like the iframes are probably during this invisibility part, right? I guess that's the best way to put it. Do we have a good way to compare length on this, by the way? Okay, so that's one thing I, I was... Uh, I'm probably selling a little short. Is just how big the range is on this thing. It looks to be competing for longest axe. Or maybe second longest. So there is that. So that whole time that you're invisible here... I don't think you get iframes during the jump, though, is the thing. It's also really expensive to use the jump part. I don't know. I think it's fine. I just... By the way, it's really funny if you don't have FP for this weapon art. Turns out you just... You're actually just running. Anyway. I think the weapon is good, but I honestly think it is probably worse than just using other weapon art, or using other great axes. Uh, there is no lightning specific great axe other than this, but I don't think that matters. You can just infuse one of these and it would probably come out to a similar stat, uh, stat range. And if you want range still, like similar range, then you go for like a long half axe, which is heavier. Huh, okay. It's definitely the longest for its weight. Huh. It's about the same as Godric's. Anyway, it's good. It's just... I, you know, I don't have much else to say. It's just a good weapon, but I, I used it kind of poorly, so... But I don't think that it makes the weapon itself bad. Thank you very much for watching, though. I will, uh, I will talk to you guys next time. This has been fun. I'm going to be trying to get a, uh, a tier list video out sometime soon. I'll be making the tier list today at least. And then I'll see about getting the video together completely afterwards. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys later.